Hello and thanks for Hello and welcome to my channel Straight No Chaser Tarot. Today I'll be doing a reading for the star sign of Cancer. If this re if this reading resonate with you um anytime that you find it it is for you. I'm going to be starting off this reading with a card. I'm going to pull a card from my Oracle deck. Um, inner Peace. So the card that I pull, pull for you is number four. Isn't that a beautiful card? It says, you, you are the joy seeker. What little victories can you celebrate? So it sounds like it's going to be talking about finding, finding happiness. With simple things in your life. I'm going to read. Um, the description for this card for you. From the little booklet I got with it. Um, just a minute. So it says you, you are the joy seeker. Your life is a masterpiece in a day-by-day -day adventure, and you have the power to access joy no matter what you are going through. Every day might not be great, but when you celebrate the little victories, you will see the great things within each day. Infinite miracles happen every moment, but we are often too overwhelmed and busy to see them. You may be focusing more on the struggles and what isn't working well. You are being called to be more mindful of the blessings that occur all the time. For there is a grand opportunity for joy both within you and all around you. Divine Assignment You can, you, you can shift your energy by focusing on what is going well in your life. Take some time to journal on what you are grateful for instead of focusing on how stuck, off track, and behind you are. Switch your focus to celebration, joy, and lightheartedness. You can bring this energy to your everyday experiences. This card is a reminder that joy is your birthright. And you can experience it, it in each moment, no matter what is happening in this world. This card is also a reminder to celebrate recent successes and jobs well done. When a goal is accomplished, we often jump to the next thing without celebrating or pausing in our own excitement. Know that you can be happy for yourself. And celebrate all that you have. To celebrate, pause and reflect on your good fortune. Could it be time to take a vacation? Explore a new project? Book a massage? Or simply spend time in nature? Be grateful for what your life and how far you have come. The question to ask yourself, once again, what little victories can you celebrate? So now I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to 
read the tarot cards. In your present position, we have the Nine of Cups. So it looks like you are feeling pretty satisfied with your life at this time. The man on the card, he looked very happy. He looked very, con um, very content and satisfied. He got, he have a lot of love around him. And he is thankful and he is grateful and happy about it. So, you can trust in the universe. And you can enjoy, take the time to enjoy what you have before you go on to the next thing. Now for your desires, we have the card of the High Priestess. So... So everything is going well with you presently. You can be maybe doing learning about different things to increase your wisdom. But the main thing you need to do is have faith in, in your beliefs and what you feel is right for you. Trust yourself. Now, what is going in your favor at this time is is the nine of swords now the swords is all about being in your head And so, maybe because you need to learn to trust in yourself and, and in what you think, maybe that is what is causing you to, you to be having anxiety. Being in our mind too much, you know, that can cause us to worry, to worry about things that more than likely it's not going to even happen. So you need to... Need to stop... You know, need to try to focus on what you need to do and make steps towards putting your, your plans into action. And that will help you not to feel so anxious. Now, what can be, what can be causing you some challenges at this time is the star.
you could be feeling worried because you feel like you know things are going so well right now um what is gonna happen next you know sometimes things can be going really good in our lives and it make us feel nervous and anxious because we you know we're feeling happy and we're feeling at peace and we're feeling satisfied and um sometimes that can make a person feel anxious because they so they they feel like you know when will the next shoe drop you know i mean things are going too good you know i'm not used to things being i'm not used to things going so well so you know that might be some of your some of your thoughts you know and and even though things are really going going good, you could be feeling some anxiety just because things are going so good for you at this time. Now, the next card I'm gonna read for you is the is the card in your 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 outcome. And so look. Even another good card, the lovers. So it looks like you are in a relationship with someone and everything is going good in the relationship. Both of you are happy with each other. You both feel like, um, you both feel like the other person meet your standards. You kind of at this time you kind of only thing you got you get just got eyes for each other, so everything looked like it is going really good. Um, the lovers represent the air sign of Gemini. Um, look like you and this person love each other unconditionally so it looks like everything is going pretty good in your life you just have to be thankful that everything is going good and try not to worry because you feel like things are going too good so I hope that you enjoyed this reading today. Please give me please give me a like lackey like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that this message that I brought to you today helps someone. If it did, please make a comment. And tell me, you know, just give me a thumbs up or give tell me a few simple words on um on if this reading helped you at all. Well, thank you for watching my channel, Straight No Chase Tarot, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.